Hi everyone, this is Dinakaran and welcome back to the YouTube channel RPA Space. Today in this video, we are going to see one of like simple and interesting topic for using UiPath. So how do we extract the data from an Excel and store it into your data table? So this could be something which is easy for someone who's already into UiPath or someone who's already expertise with RPA, but uh, this will be useful or handy for, uh, for the freshers who just begin to learn UiPath. All right, what are the steps which we basically use is like uh, uh, to extract the data using UI path. First, you have to use Excel application scope activity and then read range and specify the range if you specifically need to extract it or else you just leave it empty. And uh, storing, of course, the result of this will be a data table. So you have to specify the data table where you want to store it. And uh, it's always practice to close your workbook and it will not uh, give any error or it will not be a problem even if you can close it. But it's always better to close the workbook if you create it. And then like, uh, where can you find this Excel application scope under activity panel? Just have to go to uh, activity panel and type Excel application scope on the name. You will be able to find this activity or else you can just directly go to uh, activities app integrations and Excel, then table and then application scope. The Excel is missing out there before table. So just uh, check that out. So this is the theoretical part and then just lump. We'll see what happens in UI path. So this is UI path screen, and whatever we've explained so far, I'll just uh, do it over here so that it will be handy, and I'll attach the workbook also for your reference so that you can explore with your own system. So as soon as you type Excel, uh, it'll be Excel application scope, and uh, you can just drag and drop here, or else you can do put app integrations under Excel under table. You'll be able to find this Excel application scope activity, and. Uh, as soon as you drag and drop here, it will ask you with an error, right? Saying like you need some sort of a, a parameters to be filled in, right? So I'll just go ahead and uh, pick the path of some sample Excel file which I already have. And uh, it, it need not to be a plain text, it can be a variable also. You can just uh, create a variable and pass the Excel application path that's still valid and uh, it's going to be helpful. And if you are Excel file is password protected, you have to keep that as also, you, you can give here, you have an option for it. And uh, in case if your Excel want to be visible when it's reading, you have to like uh, check this and you have to uncheck if it is no need. And in case if you want to save the name of the workbook, what you have uh, uh, created or what you just want to open, and then you can just uh, give it over here uh, for your reference, but this is not mandatory as well. Right, and post that you have an options to read your um, a data from Excel, which is nothing but a read range activity. I just tried to drop here, but you just go ahead and type read range. There will be two read range, one under Excel and one under workbook. I'll come back to that separately, what that both of this activity mean. Right, first I check in uh, read range directly from Excel, not from workbook. So as soon as you drag and drop into your do sections of your uh, Excel application scope, this read range cannot be placed outside Excel application scope. Even if you go and just drag and drop it outside of the application scope, Excel application scope, you will be uh, uh, facing some error saying like activity will be valid only if you place this Excel application scope or Excel application card. So this is valid only within Excel application scope. And if you go to the property, you will have two proper, so two major properties which is over here. One is like input which has a range and a sheet name, and output which just need the place where you want to store the data table uh, as a, a like uh, Excel value as a form of a data table, right? By default, this will be Excel uh, sheet name will be like sheet one. But if you have a custom sheet name, you just go ahead and type it here so that like it will be able to extract the data over here. And uh, in case if you want to ignore the header from Excel, but uh, because, because you have created something uh, like handy in your data table, that's fine. You can just uncheck this. But if you want to exactly take the header also from the Excel and store it into your data table, then you have to go with this option, right? So let's uh, let's see how this works and uh, just use this test this activity options to see whether the data can be extracted as we expected. Just opening the Excel and uh, just going to the read section and it's, it's got read. So like we can be able to, uh, we can be able to see the value of this data table either from local variable 
or you can just go ahead to watch and uh, uh, just add a variable call. For example, I think I have created sample dt. And as soon as you give enter, this is it's not dead. Right. So yeah, you can be able to see the data table value exactly from here in the local panel itself. So we just have a lot of uh, uh, columns extracted from the input Excel page which you've placed it. So this is how you can extract the data directly from um, Excel applications using um, this Excel application scope activity. But as I said uh, in the past, right? So this is not the only way, but this is one of the way where we could uh, extract the data from an Excel. In you, you can just go ahead and type read range and the read range will be placed into two category, as I said. Now, earlier we have used read range under uh, like Excel. Now you can directly use this read range, which will still ask you to enter the application path with uh, like uh, where your input file has been placed. So if you just give, go ahead and give the same input file path, which we've already given and yeah, the same one. And you had to mention the same sheet name as we have and range also the same similar way. If you don't want to specify exact range, you just have to give it like uh, uh, an MD so that like it will pick the entire thing. And uh, the same as like a header, if you want to include the header into data, it will just use it or if you don't, then you can just ignore it. If it is a password protected, you have to give the password to open the Excel. And uh, same way, like uh, to store your uh, output of this excel file uh, you had to like create a sample so you have to create it so now both of them does the same action but depends on your need right you can just go ahead and use whichever is convenient and uh, helpful for you if you run this speed range activity it will still give you the value of uh, the same data table uh, which we got it from the excel Right, so you can still see this data table is pulling out the data, right? So these are the two ways where you could extract the data directly from your uh, Excel. Either it can use directly Excel application scope or read range activity under workbook. So the, the main advantage of this like uh, workbook is like even if your application is not installed, still it will be able to retrieve the data uh, from the Excel file. Right, so that would be a scenario or case where someone might ask you like, uh, when you don't have an Excel file, Excel application installed in your system, will you be able to retrieve a data from um, like um, Excel applications using UiPath? Yes, we can, but uh, we had to use this options called uh, uh, read range from workbook, not Excel application scope. For Excel application scope, you need application to be installed, right? So this could be an interview questions also someone might like if they were uh, curious to understand like how it performs and other things it would be uh, answered in such a way which we've explained just now right this is in short what just we uh, explored how do we extract the data well based on two methods using ui part so upcoming sessions will be like how do we uh, write or handle more excel related details with our ui path and other rpa tools as well so with upcoming sessions so Thanks for watching and um, uh, please subscribe to our channel for more RPA related video and uh, stay tuned. Thank you.